The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you, and persecute and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Three words that we might mention here as we re review this gospel. What, who, how. First of all, what is blessed or what is happiness? Jesus said, blessed are the poor. Blessed are those who mourn. Blessed are the weak. Well, what does he mean when he says blessed? First of all, it is not just a feeling. It doesn't come from inside us. We don't make it ourselves. No. When Jesus calls people blessed, he is telling them they are favored by the greatest want someone besides himself, namely God, our Heavenly Father. So, blessed, happy, those are the people who can realize that they are loved. Loved by our Heavenly Father. And we see this in the lives of the saints. For example, St. Paul. He says, who can separate me from the love of God? He was certain that he was loved by God. And no matter what happened to him, no matter how much he would be persecuted, he would still enjoy being loved by God. So, it is a gift from God. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit, who mourn, who meek, those who thirst for righteousness and are merciful and so forth. Blessedness. It's a joy. It's a, it's a form of happiness that we, we don't not necessarily feel at all times but we can be assured that we are loved by God himself. So, what is blessed? It is a gift from God. We are loved by God. Now, who is blessed? Well, Jesus mentions that very concretely. When he goes through the Beatitudes, saying those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is a kingdom of heaven, Poor in spirit. In other words, realizing one's limitations. Realizing that of one's own self, we are really nothing but the dust from which we were made. And that we humbly, ex humbly accept our nothingness, you might say. So, those people... People who mourn, in other words, sorrow for sin, or people who can sympathize with other people who are suffering. Those who mourn, these kind of people are blessed. They are loved in a very special way by God our Heavenly Father. People who are meek, not demanding of others, but understanding and ready to have a listening ear. People who thirst for justice, justice and for righteousness. They want to do the right thing. They have the thirst and the hunger to do 
what is God's holy will. These people are blessed by God. People who are merciful, who reach out to others and are forgiving or make an effort to forgive. These are the people. Who is blessed? Yes, Jesus puts it very concretely. Those, in, as he mentioned in the Beatitudes, these people are blessed. And how can we obtain these blessings? Well, already I mentioned by practicing those virtues that Jesus mentions in the Beatitudes. Jesus himself spoke to St. Faustina. He says, Tell souls not to place within their own hearts obstacles to my mercy, which so greatly wants to act within them. My mercy works in all those hearts which open their doors to it. So, we want to open the door and say, Lord, come into my heart. And we want to experience that blessedness. We want to experience that love which God, our Heavenly Father, gives to us freely. May the Lord bless you, give you his peace, and until the next time, goodbye.